Hi. Uh, oh, hi. My name's Matt. Nice to meet you. I'm Karen. Um, Nora's expecting you. Go ahead. Go okay, great. The studio. Thanks. Hi, everybody. My name's Matt, and this is my friend Nora, and she teaches a ballet and tap. And um, here are some of her, uh, her students. Perfect. Uh, Italia or Natalia? It's Italia. Italia. Okay, cool. And you said you're seven years old. Uh -huh. Okay. What's something that you've been practicing on? Um, the the shuffle step hop. The shuffle step hop. Do yeah. you want to show us? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that okay? Great. How old are you, Valerie? I'm eight. Eight years old. Okay. What's uh, how long have you been dancing? Not very long. Not very long. Not very long. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, what do you like about it so far? I like the hip hop dance. You like the hip hop dance? Mm -hmm. What's a hip hop dance look like? <laughs> I don't know. I love yeah, you. you can oh, cool. <laughs> So what's your name? Margarita. Margarita. How old are you? Seven. Seven. Okay, great. How long have you been dancing? Uh, like one year. One year? Cool. What's something that you've been working on? My, practicing my piano. Practicing your piano? What about for dancing? What type of dance moves have you been working on? Or would you have a favorite dance move? Oh yeah. Pa 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 Is that how you pronounce it? Pa yeah, pa Okay, what's what it means too? What's what does pa mean? The uh, cat. 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 Step of a cat. Okay, cool. You want to show us what it looks like? Do you have any cats? Yes. You do? Have you ever seen your cat do that? No. You should teach him how to do that. <laughs> I teach him how to climb a, a ladder. You taught your cat how to climb a ladder? And climb down the ladder. Cool. <laughs> Next is the dancing, I guess. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you for sharing. So, what's your name? Kimberly. Kimberly? Um, how old are you, Kimberly? Eight. Eight years old? How long have you been dancing? Um, not that much. No. They just started a few weeks ago. Yeah. Wow. Well, what's something that you, what was the first thing you learned? Uh, the hip hop? What's your favorite move within the hip hop dance? Um, I know what I'm <laughs> Everyone loves that dance with huh? Do you have a favorite song? Yeah. What's your favorite song? Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana? Like you like all of her songs? Yeah. Cool. Alright, well thank you very much for sharing. <laughs> Great. Alright. Last but not least, what's your name? Abigail. Abigail? Hi. How old are you, Abigail? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Um, how long have you been dancing? Six years. Six six years? You started when you were one and a half years old? Wow, that's that's really, really young. Um, what's what's something that you love to do when you're dancing? Shuffle hop step. Shuffle hop step. Um, how's that one look? I forgot already. I'm gonna try try it. You tell me if I'm doing it right. Like that? No, I did it wrong. Like that? Um, I started assisting when I was about 16 years old, so I assisted some classes that were little and then a well, good thing that helps with that is you can do that to earn money towards your own dance classes. So I would dance and before I would dance, I would get to assist a class and kind of earn money towards my own classes and then, yeah, so since I was 16, wow. it's been 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> cool. What's your favorite thing about teaching new, uh, new, new dance steps to kids? Um, I love when they have been working on a step really hard. Like you see some of the girls in my class who are saying, this is my favorite step. They've been working on that and it was really hard for them for a while. Or um, 
we have a lot of scholarship students too, so that's wonderful because I got a lot of scholarship when I was dancing. Cool. So it's nice to have dancers that are able to dance. How long have you been um, at this studio? I've only been at the studio um, a few months. I originally taught back in New York where I'm from, and then um, when I moved out here I did workshops through different dance studios, but I hadn't taught in a class, and what happened was there a teacher who unfortunately got injured and had to leave here, so I just was able to come in an interview, and Karen hired me, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, I love that it's a not-for-profit, so there's a lot of scholarship, and it's the kids are wonderful. That's great. This, we were talking about our arms, because when we do dance, our arms are very important. Our port de bras is our movement of our arms. So when they were doing their high fifth, Miss Karen was saying how their fingers were too close together, because it's supposed to be kind of like you're holding a ball. It's nice. And our, there you go, that's a nice fit. And move your fingers apart a tiny bit more. Like that. There oh, we so go. They can't touch, I got it. Exactly. Okay. They can't touch, like Miss Karen said. <laughs> and the port de bras. I saw earlier you're putting something on their on their wrist mm -hmm. or their, uh, top of their hands. We do sparkles. I have. Which I'm going to show you. Yeah. <laughs> we have tap sparkles. We use them for hip hop too, and so it's kind of something that gets everyone centered. And if they're little, we have them put their hands on their head, and so once they get their sparkles, they know whether they're ready to tap or they're ready to do hip hop. Cool. So, yeah. Great. I like the sparkles. I get some on me too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can I have some sparkles? Yes, you can. Then Matt will be ready to dance. These are these are darker. They're a little they're a little purpley, but you could call them blue too. So it goes on both sides like this. Yep, and, and then you're ready to dance. Perfect. Wow, that really works. That's amazing. <laughs> are they working towards something right now, or do they have a performance coming? Yeah, we have a recital. We have a recital in four weeks, three weeks. <laughs> it's um, June 27. So, on a recital day, you got to see a little bit of our ballet dance, and we also have a hip-hop dance in that older class. Some of the little guys usually just do one piece, but my older girls, because they're such rock stars, we're doing two pieces, so. Cool. I'm excited. <laughs> That's great. Is that performance going to happen here? Or is it... It's actually happening right next door. Next door. The Madrid oh, Theater is right next door. So it's, it's great to so have the studio here and then just go practice right next door. Great. And that's happening when? June 27th. June 27th. Sunday. We cool. have a 10 a.m. show, a 12 p.m. show, and a 3 p.m. show. Wow. That's fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> well, I wanted to thank you, Nora, and I thank the, uh, the Performing the Main Street, Street Performing, Performing Arts, Arts Center mm -hmm. um, for letting us um, come here and all record and uh, tape all the cool stuff that you guys are doing here. Yeah, you're welcome. We're glad you guys came by today. Thanks. <laughs>